And after that butterfly guard, we're able to get that underhook deep. Right? Now I come up, his head's high. All right? I'm having a tough time. He didn't want to let, let me control that forearm. I could always use that leverage to create an angle so I could come out of the bottom. All right? And it could be real quick. All I'm going to work on is, much like we're doing a hard wizard, all right? as long as we had that hand up, now my palm grabs the inside of my thigh. Right. Palm grabs the inside of the thigh, and I'm just going to start launching a lot of pressure on the shoulder. Generally, though, my paw is going to sprawl. He doesn't want to give up that, 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 that bottom position. Lock and slow. Mm. We have it nice and tight. So anytime we have that butterfly, again, create an angle. Don't kick your corner back and straight in front of you. Now my legs are straight. They're so fast. And don't kick your back on the mat either. We need that leverage of my own body weight. Now watch how I'm sideways. Just gonna grab the inside of the thigh. If he's pulsing me real hard, don't try to pull. Hit it out. Hit the floor. Drive like a hard wizard. Alright. Come out. Now your point is coming into you. Lock real high. You can block that hip. You're gonna take him down again. <coughs> Alright. As long as you have that head tight, you can keep following your corner. He rolls through. Follow him up. We got head control. We have control of our point got of body. Coach. <laughs> but it's all gonna come from that overhook wizard right there. It's nice and hard to create the angle, start posting. We got a really good position here for you guys that wrestle. Alright. Could also start taking side control on the far side. Let's get to work guys.